Hello everyone and welcome to a new video. Today I am going to review the Firekeeper by GC Cervantes. I have a whole page here with notes I took that I can't read so I don't really know what I try to accomplish here. I recently read book one to read book two and to review it. I have an arc which I got from my friend Justine because I'm lucky. This is the sequel to The Stormrunner. It follows Saint Obispo who finds out that he is godborn. The old books are based on Mayan mythology and the Mayan god has decided that Godborns are supposed to die so when he finds out that he is one that doesn't really go well. He is also destined, this is in the first book, to be the one to release the god of death out of his prison. It's a prophecy and everything that a Godborn is supposed to do this which was why initially the Godborns were illegal like the gods were not supposed to make any but he is alive so yeah that was the plot for the first book i won't spoil the second one so in the sequel we still follow sane after the events of the first book obviously i'm not going to spoil the first book but i am going to talk a bit about what this is about so if you don't want to know anything like how the first book ended then i don't recommend you watching this review so bye to you but initially i'm not gonna of course spoil this i'm just gonna say in general what is it about in the beginning like i usually do and uh, it starts with sane who is believed that by the gods now and he still wants to save his father so he is gonna set out to do that he also still struggles to connect with his flames and control them so that is another struggle in general i just enjoy these books a lot because again and of course they remind me of Percy Jackson, it is Rick Ryder Presents and because of this they have the whole finding out that they are godborn slash demigods finding out then they go out on a quest and it's always like whimsical and funny but also serious and has a lot of ongoing other themes in it that I really enjoy. For example here Sane has to have a cane because one of his legs is shorter than the other one therefore he has been living with this disability all his life and of course not liked it a lot and seen upon it as weakness but in these books it is a sign of his godborn power and that's where his power comes from from his father so i just like how these books in general makes weaknesses that is seen in our society into cool quirks things so that kids that reads them can feel like they are special and cool like everyone else of course but through story and literature and see themselves in different ways and i just generally always like that at in Percy Jackson with uh, Percy who is dyslexic and that is because he really is supposed to read ancient greek so he struggles reading normal letters and I just really like that little quirk in general because it just gives such a great message. And as I said, it's just adventurous and fun. I especially like Rosie, who is Saint's dog and how much he loves her. I really enjoy Brooke's character as well and his uncle. And of course the mythology. You learn so much about the mythology. I personally was not that experienced in my mythology. I like how the gods are always like so stupid and like so stuck up in the asses, like no matter which of these books I read. And I just, I think it's hilarious that the kids are like, oh my god, adults, we have to save the day again and no one understands anything. What I find even more unique about these is also that it is written like he writes the book and he's forced to write it down on paper so like what we read Sane has written and I really think that's funny that was a surprise in the first book and it keeps going in this one and I just generally like that little twist it's not like important it's just like a little detail I just really enjoy so overall if you like Arthur Shaw, if you like Percy Jackson, then what is stopping you from picking up these other Rick Ryder's present books? I just generally feel like they give so much, especially like to the age audience it's actually for. Like I am an adult, so or a young adult, so like they're not actually written for me even, but I just love them. I feel like I'm just on this great adventure, big fun and prophecies and magical things and creatures. So I had a genuine goosebump moment in this book, which is not spoilerish, I'm just gonna read it. Of course, what would a good old Maya quest be without misfortunes and curses? Your time is up, the Red Queen whispered. Son of fire, of storm, of the creator, of the destroyer, do you seek death? I only thought the word yes before she said that that is yours and I just I really just felt like I liked that moment a lot I don't know why it just really stood out to me and I was just like this is cool okay and if I was a kid who came from these origins or just in general during this book I would be like awesome and I still think it's awesome but I am thinking about the kids 
Okay, so I gave this overall 4 out of 5 stars, I really really enjoyed it and I recommend it a lot for all the reasons I just said. And I'm excited to continue the series with Zane and his fellow friends. If I even had any issues with it, it would be like nitpicking for me, a little bit of like the feelings I get when reading it, but really that's just me, so don't hesitate. This book is out on the 3rd of September, so really soon, and pick it up then, or pre-order your copy now, yay. I hope they don't change the date again after I said it in a video, because they always do that, and I'm like, dang it, now it's wrong in my video. Thank you so much for watching this, I hope you enjoyed, and you will see me soon in a new video. Bye!